This is Locker Room Live. everyone run the table splinters in the nfc championship game alongside packers hall of favorite johnny gray i'm josh moser welcome into locker room live johnny 44 21 in favor of the falcons they're going to the super bowl this is clearly not the way we anticipate or you know prepared for our season to end uh, but I, I think it's more of a credit to the falcons and and frankly we ran out of gas a little somber Mike McCarthy right here. Just after the game finished up, they were handing out newspapers. The Atlanta Journal-Constitution, Super Falcons. They were super in that first half, Johnny, largely capitalizing on those Packers' mistakes. Yeah, we hurt ourselves early with uh, this field goal and then another good drive down there and, and uh, fumbled inside the, inside the 10. Uh, hurt, uh, hurt the momentum of the game. Uh, obviously not getting points, staying in the game. Their offense is hot right now. Matt's playing incredible. Playing a team like that, you gotta you gotta start faster. Now we had zero points in the first half. You're not gonna win many games like that. Blue, I think it's a 10-10 ball game instead of a 14-0 game. That brings us to our play of the game, Johnny, and it is the Aaron Ripkowski fumble. They had a great drive, the fumble in the red zone. We really haven't seen it from him all year, out of character, and it really cost the Packers. From that point, I think that was the turning point where this thing really went south. It really was because it looked like the Packers were struggling, even though they had Jeremiah Allison, you had Devontae Adams, you had. Jordy Nelson out there, you're thinking, oh my God, they, they, all hands on deck, now you have a chance. And, but you thought they were going to go down there and really start to get into a groove. Hi, everybody. Welcome back inside the Georgia Dome. I'm Josh Moser. We've just received some news that the Packers plane has been grounded due to tornadic weather, tornadoes apparently in the area. We will keep you posted on that. If you remember, the team's flight was delayed out of Green Bay coming here yesterday because of the fog. So just something else this team has to deal with. And somebody that's been dealing with a lot is Jordy Nelson, reportedly broke two sets of ribs two weeks ago in that Giants game missed the entire second half did not play in the Dallas game and somehow comes back starts this one for the Packers catches the game's first pass had as just a good a day as you could see but you could see 87 grimacing in pain throughout the contest but what a warrior to come back from broken ribs in roughly two weeks the reports out that it takes roughly four to six weeks to come back from an injury like that was wearing a Kevlar vest almost like a bulletproof vest to help support him in case he were to take a shot to that area and protect his internal insides. Jordy Nelson speaking after the game. You know he's not feeling good, but what an effort from the NFL Comeback Player of the Year. Um, you know, you prepare to play. So um, all along I was planning on it, all the way back from the Giants game, to be honest with you. So, um, I was able to get the nod and go out there and play. Again, the Packers fall here in the NFC Championship game. Now, welcome back, everybody. Again, reports out that the Packers' plane has been grounded due to tornadic weather. When they were coming to Green Bay, they were delayed because of fog. Had to catch a bus to Milwaukee to fly out of Milwaukee to get down here. As a news crew, us traveling down here, we had to drive to Chicago to get on a plane to get out of Green Bay. So the weather wrecking havoc. The Falcons wrecking havoc. We're closing down the Georgia Dome here. And the ground is literally littered with this confetti. We've got red. We've got right. We've got black. They're moving on to the Super Bowl. And it looks like the Packers are going home. We're rolling on with Locker Room Live. Just after this, we're going to hear from Clay Matthews when we come back. Stay with us. Welcome back, everybody. We've talked a lot about the receiving game, the defense. Well, what about the running backs? We saw Ty Montgomery have a great homecoming last week going back to Dallas. Two touchdowns and a great performance. Got banged up in this one. Really struggling, not having a lot of opportunities. I've got some numbers here for you. Three rushes for 17 yards. That's all we saw out of number 88. Remember, if we go back to the start of the season, he was a wide receiver. They convert him to a running back. But the season ends for the rest of the team. Everybody done here in Atlanta. Here's Ty Montgomery on his performance today. Um, it's going to hurt regardless, uh, but I feel like I feel like me personally, it's just, it's just reality. As we're here on the field, Johnny, we had confetti fall. There's people all over the place. Atlanta doesn't get to celebrate moments like this, and they're taking advantage. 